So long, 40s. Hello, Sub-Zero. <laughs> Nothing like an Arctic blast to wake us up. Oh, my gosh. It's a dicey drive tonight up in the high country. Guess what? We're next, Denver. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson has your first alert about this storm. Well, I'll tell you what, the storm is coming in, but most of the dry road conditions we have right now will linger into the morning. These advisories go in effect for tomorrow for the Front Range. Up into the mountains, they'll have a little bit more snow will down here, but right now there's not a lot of activity around. The scattered snows have moved off away from Denver. What's happening? What's falling? Temperatures 24 degrees currently in Denver and in Greeley, 23 at Fort Collins. Combine the wind, and it feels like nine at Fort Collins and Greeley. Two degrees out at Akron with the strong winds coming in from the north as the colder air is pouring southward into the metro area and across the northeast plains. It'll be mainly dry and cold in the morning, but snow and slick coming up by evening. And the cold air that's coming in is going to be the coldest we've had in almost two years. The snow increasing Tuesday afternoon, nasty roads late tomorrow into early Wednesday. And Denver 7's Marshall Zellinger is out in the cold tonight. Marshall, you're hearing from natives who want to give some newbies the heads up. We went around the city and found a few things. One, a lot of people avoiding the cold here in front of Union Station. So if you want unimpeded looking at the lights, here you go. We found people embracing the cold over at Zoo Lights, including one family that had their little one bundled up so much that when you hear what mom had her dressed in, it may make you sweat. A hat undershirt, sweatshirt, coat. She has a small blanket, two small blankets, and then she has a big giant um, four, it's like four by three nuggets blanket. That was before we got to the boots and the socks. That's little Brayel not minding that we stopped her family in the cold because she probably can't feel it. Multiple layers will be necessary at Zoo Lights over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, closer to Wash Park, we found a couple garden hoses still attached to the faucet on the house. You don't want that. Detach the hose. Or, worst case scenario, you could get a burst pipe. But one homeowner who smartly had his detached told us that's not his biggest tip for newcomers. But I think more than anything else, snow tires. I just absolutely, uh, you know, find it incredible that a lot of newcomers simply do not know or do not really think that that makes a huge difference. And it does. So if you ever wanted to do anything outside, like, you know, see these lights or go to zoo lights or go to an outdoor ice rink, you may have it all to yourself pretty much between now and Friday. You just have to be willing to bundle up. Reporting live in Denver, Marshall Zellinger, Denver 7.